Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vetmill and today I'm reviewing The Lit by Vandevape. Oh dear. Now I've got a little confession. As you may notice, I've just shown you an empty box. That's because I've lost it. Yeah. I had it yesterday. I don't know where it is today. But I will still do a giveaway this week. If I can't find it, it's a, it's a home somewhere or it's part of pocket. If I can't find it, then I'll send you a brand new one. Do not worry, we've got it sorted. And in regards to the review, I'm still going to do a review. I'm just going to have to use my extra big one. My, my, my extra big one. My extra big one. So, that'll be floating around here and there every now and again as a talk and it's a crappy air holes, it'll show you the air holes and the deck and, and blah de blah. So let's get straight on to the basics. The diameter is 2 point, no it's not, it's 2.4, 200. Alright, so again, <sighs> the diameter is 24mm, the height is 31mm. It's got an 810 drip tip and a 510 screwing pin. Connected pin. As you can see from the floating RDA, wherever it is, it's got two different types of airflow. It's got the circular rolls, which obviously you can cut down from, I think it's 4, 8, 12, and 16, just by obviously turning it. Turn it a bit more, it comes into the slits rather than the holes, so obviously you can turn it fully off as well. It's got three ways to build on it. You've got, here's the deck. There's three ways to build on it. Because of how the deck is, you basically you've got the top bar, then a gap, then like a rubber seal, then a gap, then a rubber seal. Um, so it basically is your two holes. So as I was showing you on the rebuild, as coils naturally, as the coils there, you've naturally got the legs going like that. It's quite ample to just put the legs in. Obviously, it's perfect for verticals as well because the holes aren't in level like that on top of each other and on top of that it also comes with a mesh it's designed for mesh really the mesh goes straight from the bottom folds over to create two mesh loops now I liked it I didn't think the flavour was the best flavour I've ever had for double coil RDA the flavour worked decent you could taste the fat of it from I did three or four builds on it horizontally and I never really got any more flavour out of it. What I got the first time was pretty much the entire flavour. It weren't amazing, but it, it was ample. It, you can't really knock it. The mesh, I found an absolute nightmare. I tried, because obviously when you put the beds there, and if you put the, the post, sorry, and if you put the mesh in, you kind of got like a very loose, very saggy bit of mesh. So to try and pull the cotton through the mesh is quite hard. So then I try loosening it, putting the cotton on, and then bending the mesh over like you've seen me do on previous mesh builds. And even that was still loose at one side. And it's quite a nightmare to uh, try and build on, to be honest. Uh, I suppose one way to do it is cut the mesh into half and do them separately, but because it's the same post, it'd be quite hard to do. So I didn't really get on with the mesh, but on regards to the deck building, it's one of the easiest builds I've ever made. Like I said, I don't think the flavour's kicking in the arse for good, but it is a decent flavour. I think it's quite cheap as well, it's quite old now, so it's on sale in a lot of places. It were, uh, I quite liked it. I think it looks good as well, as you can see floating around me from somewhere. It looks quite decent. Not too much in your face branding, but there is the lip branding. Uh, we have a rainbow colour on it. If I can't find mine, then we'll... I'll let you choose which colour you want, obviously. So there you go, guys. There's not really much to talk about. It does come with a squonking pin, although the squonking pin's separate. It's not built into it, which I thought it would be, because it was sold to me as a BFRDA, bottom feed. Um, but yeah, there you go. I enjoyed using it. Uh, as you can see, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that on... Saturday night, maybe Friday night, I went out and I had, well, I had both of these setups, maybe, different mod. But then the lip went on, and that was just because I was getting much more flavour out of my V-God than I my lip, obviously. 
and you know I prefer my V-Guard to pretty much anything. So, but I still had it with me, I still keep using it, but it, it, it just didn't fulfil my needs. You could get the flavour out, and you got an alright flavour out of it, but not an amazing one. And I'm repeating myself, I'm so sorry. There you go, guys. I'll, my new review toy ain't come yet, so I'll postpone the video when that comes. I'll talk about last week's giveaway and next week's giveaway. See you in five. So, last week's winner for the Van de Vip Mesh RTA is Marissa McCarty. Congratulations, Marissa, and thank you for your support. I know you've been commenting for pretty much since the beginning, so I'm quite glad you've won. Thanks for taking part and thanks for the support. Next week, guys, or this week, I am using the Lyra Lira. You know, the hardest thing about reviews is pronouncing what they're damn called. Uh, anyway, it's by Lost Vape. It's a quest. Lost Vape quest, I don't know. I've never really heard of these guys before. I know it's relatively new, I think. Um, it's a pod system. It comes with a lanyard and all sorts of stuff. But the good news, <coughs> excuse me, the good news is, guys, I bought two. So I'm going to give mine away, but I'm also going to give a brand new one away as well. So make sure you're watching next week, guys. Tomorrow we're going to do the unboxing. Then on next Tuesday we'll do a giveaway. Thanks for watching. Stay cloudy. Boom.